Yes, people. Hope everyone's doing well. How are you all? Um, yeah, bit of a bit of a punchy video. This bit of a reaction one to to the to the situation. Um, and of course, I'm going to go through the squad and I'll get that graphic graphic up in a minute about what we will look like and what we need to do if this happens and how we need to react to this. Some of Nonto are the news today, and just today you've had four or five creditable said that right creditable links to the players. I think it's fair to say the 49ers have said, look, there's a deadline for these players. We're not going to sell after this deadline unless the offer is an absolute joke. And teams are now trying to negotiate and find a way, you know, to get the sale. Um, so I'd expect that will move pretty quickly. Even by the time this goes out, there might be even more advancements. But as I speak, Fulham have just shown their interest. So there's definitely a deadline. But I think it's fairly clear if those that price is met, which is the, the question it always has been for me, they will go if the price is met. What will happen? What will Leeds look like? Um, what do we need to do? How do we react to that? I'll go through the squad right now and I'll do it in the different shapes that I think we will play. I'll do both shapes. The first shape I've gone with is this. Now, again, this is going off, off what people have said in the media about playing the back three, how we played in the Harrogate game, the variations of that. Now, one thing that's clear if Somerville and Willing Onto leave the club, looking around the players on the side, everyone that's gone to preseason, by the way, in Germany, where are our wingers? We don't really have wingers. Now, if you are playing a back three with two foot wing backs, obviously that winger role is very different, right? For the most part, the winger role wide role is, is relatively simple in terms of its combinations with the fullbacks right that is usually what it does so there'll be a lot of rotations there might even be slight adjustments where we play like this you know with the two the two tens the two left attacking forwards realistically with the number nine in front of them the point is without without Nanto and Somerville in the side you do have you do have that conversation you do have that issue with natural wingers at the club Rutter, of course, isn't a natural winger. He didn't play their Hoffenheim. He didn't. He played part of the front two, but drifted out wide in a team that played a back five, by the way. So that is something he might be familiar with, potentially playing one of these roles behind the striker. Maybe the two up top, like this, with the number 10 in behind, like this. Rutter, by the way, like I said, played this role at Hoffenheim spent a lot of his time drifting into these wide areas, creating combinations, 1v1 situations, running behind the fullbacks. But this guy's going to be interesting. Without Somerville on Nonto, there is clearly not an out-and-out -out winger bar Dan James. The, the thing for Dan James, where he fits in, however, is if we do play with a two wide, you know, obviously there'll be rotations. Dan James is predominantly, for me anyway, most effective the wider he is on a 1v1 basis in the final third. I don't think he's a guy that suits dropping deep, creating combinations, even going centrally. I really like Dan James when he's 1v1 on the fullback, running off the fullback. That's where he's the best. So if, if this is the formation here, go back to this. If they do play the two tens instead of the two strikers, you know, a lot of James's movement in this area could be quite effective. But in terms of build-up, you might see that and Rutter dropping into that position. You know what I mean? Because of James is running off the striker. I think we've seen he's improved his I know I know it's behind my head. There. You know where I'm you know you know where I'm putting him, right? I'll move I'll move my head slightly. There we go. Yeah, you might see that. This could also be a combination. So the interesting side of losing them two is the combination. Now this is this is assuming that we don't replace them with a winger, right? And that's the back three. For me, Vogel and Firpo are the wing backs. You're not going to get better than them at this level for me. Unless you do really, really lucky in recruitment and get a ridiculous player. Yeah, and also let me just clarify as well, looking at the bench, you also have Aronson who, who can be part of this conversation as well. And also part of the eight conversation. This is more about the Somerville. It's more about the positions, if that makes sense. Aron Aronson could, of course, play the exact same role. James or Rutter playing in this side. Obviously, Aronson is not necessarily a, a runner in behind. He likes it to feet and to drive with it. So he'd predominantly be an 8 or a 10 in this system. Not necessarily one of the three rotations up top, if we're playing like that. But Rutter's an interesting one in this system. 
Rutter is a really interesting one because he's done this before, but as part of the front two. So you never know. It could look like that. It could indeed look like that. Either one of these. But my point is, if we don't, if we lose some of the London to the out and out wingers, do we replace them without and out wingers, or do we get players who are comfortable playing part of the front two, a striker that can drift out wide and drift into these areas, a number ten who is also comfortable at driving and playing on the back line, very technical, creating plays for the front two, whoever that is? Or do we do the bit where we go wide there uh, and wide here? Obviously, they will invert, or the full-backs will invert to create front five. Either or, it's an interesting dynamic. Do we sign out and out wingers? Were we going to play out and out wingers in this system? We saw in the second half against Harrogate, some of them came on, and played this role, Nanto came on and played this role where Firpo is. Of course, Nanto is an out and out winger, Somerville is an out and out winger, one of them did play wing back. Do we sign an out and out winger? For me, if we're playing back three, with the likes of Rutter, James, and Joseph, Aronson, Perot, not Bamford as well as the striker, who else forgot? That's a bit real realistically, isn't it? Gellhart as well. Where. Where do they come in? Maybe, look, you could do yeah, that. People don't like Dan James. I thought he's excellent. I think he'd be brilliant this season. I think James is great because it's just a believe he can play wide, but he can also play on the last man. And if you're playing a front two, like I've expressed, with one in behind, James is excellent at running in these areas. Deadly. In the championship, deadly. So that's, that's a conversation as well. Now, with the 4 2 3 1, our trusted formation that Daniel Fax has played for most of his managerial career, especially in the last five or six years. What do we do in this situation? Because this is more obvious, right? This is more obvious. And again, I've, I've dropped the boba, but this is, not, this is not reflection on anything. This is just, I'm just putting the defence in there. It doesn't really matter to me at this point. So now the conversation is clear. Again, this is where it's obvious you have one out and out winger. Where does he see Rutter? Where does he see Aronson? They're the keys. If he sees Rutter still as a 10, then really, there's no out and out winger. If he sees Aronson as part of one of the wingers, which maybe, I'm, I don't know, I think he's better centrally for the press. He's key for the press. But if he doesn't, there's a clear spot. So this is where the recruitment focus is. And even with that, realistically, then you only have two wingers. Dan James might need competition. So do you go like for like? Do you bring Monto goes, we bring a winger in. Some of them goes, we bring another winger in. I think that's sensible. I think there's a level to this. Maybe you could bring in a younger winger and maybe a more established winger. Because we already have Dan James, who's a very liable winger who will get goals and assists in this league. He's proven that whenever he's been in this league. It's a chat. All about what Daniel Fark thinks of predominantly Rutter, James and Harrison and the formation. It changes a lot for me. There's no doubt about it. If we're playing a 4 2 3 1, we clearly need an obvious replacement. Clearly. That is obvious. We cannot go in the season with Aronson as the winger and the only one. Because one, he's not a winger. He can't play there. I think he'd be all right there in the championship, of course. And maybe he will. For me, Aronson's role is better centrally driving. And predominantly more, more so for the press, to be honest. He's a really effective presser. And if we do press, you want him centrally to that, dictating the press, obviously. But let's see. Let's see. What do you guys think? It's an interesting discussion, I think, because there's no clear answer for me. Depending on your formation, like I say, if you're playing a back three, you're not really playing without and out wingers. Or if you are playing without and out wingers, the guys up top, if it is these three, Rutter, Joseph and James, say you're playing with a back five in the year, you've got out and out wingers. Who are you dropping? I, I think Barker really likes Dan James. Me, if we're playing a back three, this is how it will look. I don't think we necessarily will bring in an out and out starting winger. I think what we might bring in is a player who can play that wide position where Dan James is potentially. A player to compete with Dan James. I don't think we bring in a, an out and out start. I think we need competition in that role. Now, likewise to that, if we do play this like we did in the first half against Harrogate, 
are you looking at a guy who can play that 10 role, but is comfortable also playing as the 9 as an adjustment? So you drop in in this position. Now it looks like James, right? If we do this, and James plays as one of the two, again on that right side, really creating those excellent spaces that he found himself in. With the, obviously the wing backs coming very high. Then you then you are arguably asking for a strike, a striker, or a ten to create a play. For me, the profile of play we need most is a progressive creator player who can literally do a bit of everything, drive with it. Sammy Saez type player, maybe more of a Pablo type player. I've done loads of suggestions and videos. They're, they're the different aspects for me. Depends on the formation. Depends on where Barker sees Aronson, Rutter, James. That's, they're the key. These three players. These are the ones. Where does he see these guys? And that's what we'll be doing in Germany. That's what we'll be figuring out. And I think that's why there's a deadline on it. I think he's accepted. Look, these guys will go. Okay, the deadline needs to be this. So I have time. I know the deadline of what I'm working on. So then we can get the right type of player in. Because if we bring an out-and-out winger, and we don't necessarily play with out-and-out wingers, can he play centrally? Can he play as part of the front two? You know, can, is he comfortable in tight spaces centrally? That's the question. So Farker needs to know, and that's why there's a deadline for me, I think anyway, on uh, on Somerville and Nanto. I think there is, because of that. But either way, best believe, I'm working on a video right now for the replacements of Nanto and Somerville. I'm working on it. That's why I did this one now, just to get something out. I'm also working on a Matteo Joseph video and his role at the club, which I know a lot of you will be like interested in. That will come out. In a bit, that's taken a while. That's That requires a lot of watching and research from last season. So I'll need more friendlies to get onto that. So the Matteo Joseph video is coming. Replacements for Somerville Nonto video is coming. And maybe, depending on what news happens with recruitment, videos on maybe a left back. Don't worry. Maybe even a uh, an Aronson role video. I've already done an Aronson one. Maybe a Rutter one. Dan James. Any. Right, they're coming. Best believe. But Matteo is definitely coming. But anyway. Let me know what you guys think. Interesting discussion. Just talk in the comments. Let's go through it. And I promise when this is uploaded, I will be going through the old comments in the last video. I've been very busy, people. I apologize. I am terrible. I know. I'm sorry. I really am. I will be going through them. I appreciate you all. See you in a bit.